Hello guys, Steven Ducks here. Welcome to this new YouTube videos. And today we're going to focus on the strategy that was producing uh, for the entire December. And for the last two weeks, we're pretty much playing with IPO related stocks. So today I have summarized three things you guys can focus on uh, when you are trading uh, this type of IPO related stocks. So before I start this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe. Let's get into today's content. So the first thing uh, you want to remember is IPO is called initial public offering and it's basically the first day that stocks appear in the stock market and you will have its own float, brand new market cap. A lot of people are trying to get into the stocks in the first day. So it makes the first green day untradeable uh, pretty much throughout the entire day. So let's look at the ticker. It's called WNW and that happened the last week. Pretty much all tickers have high volume, low flow. It's going to behave very similar to WNW. Let's try to uh, look at the entire action and to see what we can learn from it. So WNW uh, initial public offering started around seven. And so uh, right now the price for WNW is $75. Uh, normally to calculate the initial market cap, I will use how much it gained from seven. So it gained over a thousand percent. And we're using uh, the overall market cap at $75 divided by 10 because it gained uh, 10 times over than seven. So uh, initial market cap, we can calculate from 1.88 billion divided by 10. That's around 188 billion in terms of initial market cap. So once we calculated uh, the initial market cap will be 188 million and the flow is under 20 million. So it's considered a low flow. The amount of volume we've been getting, I will get into that into the second point. So let's look at the first green day. Uh, as I said, a lot of people trying to get in, pretty much make it untradeable. Uh, shares are not available. Some shares were available uh, by the late of the day. That's because uh, the stock is brand new. So there's not enough supply out there for you to uh, really get it, except your hedge fund. Uh, on the second green day, this is a really tricky part. The stock dropped in the pre-market and they forced the stock to go into short sale restriction. So basically it makes it much harder to short and also brings tons of trap for short sellers to fall in. So uh, the first resistance that was considered to be a pre-market resistance, it was around 1.05. And I do see a lot of people trying to use 105 as risk to um, short into the stock. But let's reverse back to the point I want to make about volume. So when you are trying to read IPO volume, uh, you have to read in terms of volume times the average price. It's because during the normal market conditions that the stock can go up to $65 a share or $85 a share is very difficult. It's because the stock is way too expensive for normal investors to buy. So in this case, we're using the small volume times the average price to calculate how much uh, actual dollar was being traded into this ticker. So let's look at the five day chart. Whenever you are looking at IPO stocks, there's no historical chart and there's pretty much only two or three day um, in terms of uh, historical chart. So we want to look at December 17th. It traded around 3 million shares and the consolidation is anywhere between 120 to 140. So let's pick a middle of the consolidation. Let's use 120. 120 times 3 million, it traded overall 360 million in terms of amount of a dollar that was traded in that day. The third point I want to point it out is once you know how much dollar was traded in that day, you will know that if the volume is actually sufficient or not. Because if the stock trades over 300 million in one day, then the stock itself becomes shortable in terms of liquidity and you don't have to worry about you can't really exit and your size is going to affect the stock price. So the total three point will be uh, try not to trade on the first green day because uh, there's a lot of volatility hope. Second, I uh, will be make sure spot the correct market cap and flow. And the third one, once the stock proof itself that is tradable, uh, make sure focus on your risk reward. It is very important uh, because the maximum reward normally lands from 50% to 75% maximum. So that will be all of the three points I want to cover today. Uh, make sure to leave a question below. I understand that the third point is a little bit confusing. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave a comment below. I will see you guys in the next one.